What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Hydraneer. So last episode, we got some things done. Uh, we started getting some gold. We started getting some money. And then I was like, you know what? We got to do some live stream. We got to do some live stream. So we live streamed over on Twitch.tv slash Um, because I thought it was going to be super grindy. We we're going to have to go get a whole bunch of stuff done. Well, we got a little bit further ahead than I thought we were going to because we found out some things. So, so we started setting up this super basic machine. Now, um, I haven't got it quite figured out yet. So we're going to work on that. But I want to tell you guys what I learned. Oh, we learned some things. We did some stuff. We started crafting some things. You can see we got gold. We got iron. We got all kinds of things. Now, the things that uh, probably the most exciting is uh, where's my bucket? Okay, let's grab a bucket. So you, well, we wanted to get down to the bedrock dirt level because that's everybody's like, oh, you got to go down there because that's where the good stuff's at. That's where you're going to get the goods. So let's just give you an example of what kind of goods you can expect from a little area like this. Now, let me go ahead and let me dump that in there. Let me grab this bucket with water, dump that in here, dump this uh, brush. Yes. All right. Look at the size of that gold. <laughs> that is the kind of stuff that you get from the bedrock layer. It's absolutely insane. And as you can see, you throw all your gold into uh, into this guy. Oh my gosh, that's a huge thing. So I actually have two crucibles now. We have one for iron, one for gold. But you can throw as much gold as far as I know into this guy. And there's like different size bars. So if you see, uh, let's see, let's drop that one. This one's smaller than that. I don't know how many sizes there are in between. You can make a small one or you can make a large one. This one right here is the largest one. However, depending on how much gold you actually have in here, changes the value. So like essentially it's like, you know, more pure. There's more gold per, per deal. So uh, we started messing with that and it's a good here. Let's just throw this on here. We'll just we'll just go through the process, shall we? But I don't have I don't have any gems. Gems are kind of the issue for me right now because we found a few. We found a massive ruby and um, yeah, it's I mean, it's good and all. Everything's all good, but um, we haven't found any any hardly any gems. And then we started getting messing with this machine. So I want to figure out this thing out. I want to get this thing going. Now, ideally, what we do with this machine is we come down here. We grab our shovel. We grab the dirt from here. Place that on there like that and like that. And then we put it up on to this conveyor belt. Right, right, right here. Dump, dump it. Dump, dump, the, dump the, oh, you know what? Maybe it's because it's not on. Let's turn the bad boy on. Uh, well, darn, I just, <laughs> I messed that up. Uh, all right, that's good. Perfect. Grab that. Turn that on. All these things turn on. Let's grab this guy. Now, let's throw it. Would you, would you dump on here? It won't dump. Why won't you dump on here? It did it last time. I don't know. I don't know why it didn't dump on there. It's supposed to dump on there. Anyways. I'll turn that back off. Basically, the conveyor goes up, runs through this machine, but you can see it gives you a whole bunch of little teeny tiny things. Like there's little tiny pieces of gold scattered everywhere. It's not the big huge chunks that we're getting before. So there, I, it feels like there's a little bit of a payoff here in the fact that you don't have to do that by hand yourself, but you do have to, um, well, you have to come up with a system so you can at least collect it and turn it into whatnots because now, well, we have gold lane apps. <laughs> We have gold laid everywhere. So um, we're going to play with this. We're going to see if we can get something done with it and see if. Okay, so that one's good. So there's that. How come I don't understand why I couldn't throw that bucket on there? All right, let's try this again. All right, bucket, go on here. Bucket, dump. Bucket, dump on the. There it goes. I don't know why I didn't want to do that before. But now we should be able to turn this guy on. Now it's going to conveyor. It's going to go whoop. It's rolling uphill. I have no idea how that happened. And now it's going to go. It's going to poop out a whole bunch of. Bunch of nothing. Wonderful. All right. <laughs> so uh, that's our super basic machine right now, I guess. We'll have to kind of play with this. But um, yeah, lots of machines, lots of fun things to play with here. And in the last episode, we saw all the building materials and things like that for uh, for new places and whatnot. So, so um, I think we're going to play with this. We're going to get this guy rocking and rolling. But I think we're going to need to do we're going to need to like have like a wall or something so that way it grabs all the resources that come out of this and like funnels them because this right here is a uh, well, it's a funnel. <laughs> it is a funnel. It funnels things. That's exactly what it does. So I'd like to get that 
Um, and then actually, let's go see how much money we have. I don't know how much money we have off the top of my head here. Uh, okay, here's our money. So we have two thousand four. Or yeah, we have twenty four twenty six. That's not a lot. Let's do some selling of some things. Um, let me mess around. Let me see if I can get some gems. And then we'll see if we can't uh, if we can't make a necklace or something to sell that's worth a whole bunch of money. <gasps> oh, oh, big ruby, big ruby, big ruby. All right, let's put the gold in there. Let's grab the iron, throw the iron in here. Uh, let's actually throw this iron on the crucible and get that guy cooking up. Let's grab this ruby and get that ground up into a nice look at the size of that ruby. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. All right, so now. Let's get these guys out of the way. Let's make ourselves something real nice here. Let's make ourselves something extra fancy. I think we're going to actually probably make a couple things now. Is this liquefied yet? Hold on. Let's move this out of the way. Uh, Are you good now? No, it doesn't look like it's done yet. Nope, not yet. All right. Let's wait for that to liquefy down. There it goes. All right. So let's get that guy poured in there. Wonderful. Nice little cast we got going there. Now, I'm also curious because people were saying that you could throw these back into those. I don't think it's going to fit in there. I don't think I can get that in there. Uh, I might be able to get this little guy in here. Yeah, I could get that guy in there. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get this guy in here. Because I would love to just stack all of these and turn these like all into like one super gold. Let's see if that... Nope, that's not going to work. Uh, but we could remelt out down that one. This is the iron one. This isn't even the one we want to do that with. Hey, hey, you get back here. Is that, yeah, this is the gold one. Okay. Anyways, let's let's get something... Uh, let's get some some fancy gold stuff made here. Let's see, let's move these two out of the way. We're gonna use these two big boys. We'll throw that one there. Grab that one. Uh, let's see, we're gonna do a necklace. Necklaces seem like the, the way to go. All right, so there's that one. Where's that blacksmithing hammer? Is that the blacksmith? No, blacksmithing hammer's right here. So we'll grab that, and then these two guys. One and two and whack. Yeah, look at that necklace. Oh, that is a nice necklace, if I do say so myself. Now, before we leave, uh, let's actually go ahead and get three iron. I only have... Oh, no, I have three. Okay, cool. Let's throw these three iron on here, and let's make a uh, let's make a sword. All right, three iron look good. One, two, three. This is going to be a huge sword. Oh, oh it is. <laughs> Can I use it? Oh my gosh, that is huge. It's like a Final Fantasy style sword. Holy moly. All right, let's go see if we can sell these and turn ourselves a profit. Now, there are different places that we can go to sell this stuff. Uh, so let's just go ahead and we'll throw that in there for now. And let's grab our sword and let's see if we can turn a profit on these. Get a little bit more money in the bank. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, all right. Well, this is, um, that's the first time this has happened. Uh, yeah, this isn't where I wanted to be. There we go. Oh, well, this actually worked out. <laughs> this worked out perfectly. Uh, okay, jeweler. No, we're not gonna sell the jeweler. Where's the stock market thing here? You know, I don't even see a stock market thing here. Maybe there's not one in this town. I know there's a jeweler right there. Uh, and then we have this little area. Oh, all right, let's turn around. Uh, we have these little multiple buying areas. I really wanna check out, I'm not gonna lie. I really wanna check out that digging machine. I don't know what it's for, but I wanna check it out. Like, I know it's for digging, obviously. I know that. Wait, hold on. Was that the stocks right there? All right, let's see what this place offers. Because this guy, this place has some stocks. Oh, everything everything looks bad here. Um, Let's see. Oh, a ring would be good. Okay, so they don't want any of the other stuff. Let's go ahead. Let's go to the other place. And let's see what the stocks are that, for, for that. All right, what do we got here? Uh, Swords and necklaces are both up. That is perfect, because guess what I got? I got a sword and a necklace. All right, so let's grab this guy. How much do you think this guy is going to be sold for? Okay, so this one's up by 52. Let's see. All right. Let's drop it. 1611. Sounds like a plan. Not bad. All right, let's see. What is this guy worth, though? I think we sold one necklace on the stream, and it was worth like 4,000 or something like that. It was insane. It was so good. All right, let's throw this guy in here. How much are you worth? 2,200? I'll sell it. All right, so we got another 3,000 right here. So that brings us up to like 5,000. Wonderful. Uh, so that'll give us a little bit of money to kind of like play with here when you drop that there. Now, the money only combines if it's in one of those, uh, those buy bins or something. So it's not going to combine right there, which is fine. All right, you know what? We're going to go buy the excavator. 
we're gonna go get it i want to see how it works so i want to know if i use this thing do i have to set up like an automated farm kind of thing in a different way to utilize this thing over making like what i'm making now because what i'm making now is, is intended for me to do by hand but if we can buy this thing for like a thousand like that's that's almost like cheap that's super cheap so let's kind of see what its deal is and what uh what we need to get it running you know actually hold on before we go over there how much are these other plots like how expensive are we talking here because maybe we should just buy a bigger plot i mean we haven't used our whole plot yet but oh my gosh this area looks rough holy moly it's huge though does it say how much it is oh let's put let's let's drop that how much is this it just says for sale uh how much are you maybe maybe I, maybe i have to buy one at a time is there like a progression system possibly oh my gosh this place is massive this looks like the place we want how much is it though how do i buy it oh purchase part it's only 12 what this is only 1200 we could easily buy that like no problemo is this the best is this like the biggest one wait hold on what there i think there i want to say there's one more let's go look at the other one too oh well this one's pretty big too holy moly how much is this one oh this one's 6600 oh my gosh oh this looks like a perfect place though oh look at this like you have like a little pathway to build like an area where's the water source though because you're we're gonna need a source of water somewhere there's gotta be one wait what's out here do we just use ocean oh we probably just pipe in ocean water well that kind of stinks because like i would like to put the stuff over there oh man oh you know what we can't dig this part right here it's only this interior part this is ooh, ooh. i want this should we waste all of our money on this spot right here this would be a good spot i don't you know <laughs> oh i want it um okay you know what we're gonna go buy that excavator thing first but i think we might end up buying this spot right here because you know what this is like this is fantastic there's a nice area you could set up your tools and workbenches and whatnots and do oh man maybe i don't have 6600 right now but we could get that super easy and it's right next to the town that we're it's literally it's right there from here oh my gosh I think I think we found the best place possible. All right, so this guy is 1050. Not even an issue. Now, do you have some kind of storage thing on you? You do. 1 to 0. Okay, so that's like the fuel tank. Okay, so can I just set this in here for now? Oh, okay. And then so wait, hold on. Where does I don't know. Let's Okay, let's get in. How am I supposed to get this out of here? Uh how am I supposed to get you out of here? You know, I'm just gonna set the rest of my money in this thing for now because that's where we're gonna probably end up buying stuff anyways. But how do I, how am I supposed to get this out of here? Uh, maybe I recalled nearest vehicle. How do I get out? Oh, geez. All right, unstuck. <gasps> hey, there we go. Okay, cool. We're out. Uh, this is going to be interesting to get home. All right, we're not taking it home. We're gonna park it right here because guess what? We're gonna buy this spot. I don't even care. We're gonna do it. No, slow down, stop, don't go. <laughs> stop it. All right, we're just gonna park this bad boy right here for now uh, because we're gonna end up buying this spot. Yep, this is this is the spot that we, that we have determined that we need in our life. It's only 6,600. That's not gonna take very long to get. And then we won't have to worry about like, you know, filling out that air. Well, we could just take this back home and just kind of get an idea of what it does. Okay, all right. You got me convinced, let's do it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this machine might be, <laughs> it might be a bit much for the starting area, but I wanna see what it does. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, I just accidentally used that thing. All right, we're gonna set this stuff out of the way. We're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. <laughs> I wanna see what it does. All right, so this area is nice and clean and clear. Let's go ahead and drop down in here. And, <laughs> this thing is way too big for this area this is not meant for this all right let's back up uh i think we're gonna do a pass okay so how do i how do i okay so but how do i how do i can i can i can control the thing right okay how do i make it go up and down i feel like it should go down oh hold left mouse button use arms got it all right let's try this so what does this do looks like it makes a mess oh it's filling up the inside of it oh my oh hold on what's that what what is this wild bower seed bag found stashed 
underground place in dirt outside to grow plants harvest when <laughs> oh cool all right we'll set that down for now okay so this thing uh really clears out the stuff but it looks like eh, how do i get up on this thing can i go up on here i mean i'm sure it's, I'm sure it's safe if i jump up here. okay so what do i do with this what do i do with this part hmm i don't know i say we fill it up with dirt though oh hold e to unload dirt Oh, so it looks like I need to park this next to a... Okay, so hold on. If I just hold E. Oh, yeah. I would say we need to park it next to a machine or like a, a, some, like a funnel or something like that. That would go to conveyors that would take it into that machine. Oh, I like it. Oh, that's super cool. All right. Well, we, got, we, we have some things to do. We need to make money first. Um, so we're going to use... I don't know, part of me wants to use this, but the other part of me doesn't because it's kind of like, it just spits everything everywhere. All right, so I made a knife. Um, I have some gold bars. You know what I'm actually kind of curious of? Can I make a golden, can I, can I make like golden weapons? Because I made that, but like the only thing to do with gold is you have to have like gems or something to go with it. And I have, I don't get gems a lot. Uh, so I'm just kind of curious. I don't think it's gonna work. No, okay, all right. Well, I, you know, I didn't think so. I just wanted to make sure. So we're going to go sell this stuff and we're going to hope that we get enough money to buy that plot of land. So my I, my plan with the my plan is that we're going to buy that big plot of land and we're going to start getting it set up. But we're not going to fully utilize it right like right now because like I don't have the, the stuff, you know, there's there's no re I don't need that much area, but we can slowly start building it up, get some things planned out. We can come back here. We can do some mining here to get some more money, you know, cash flow, things like that. So we're gonna start doing that, but I gotta go sell all of these gold bars and tools and whatnot so we get the cash to actually buy the thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna first check the stocks over here because I forgot about this stock marketplace over here, this little teeny tiny castle area. Ooh, you know, we haven't gone in here at all yet. <gasps> oh, oh, these are for like the secrety bits. Can I mine in here? Is this like a, like a, are we able to mine in here? Probably not, maybe, I don't know. All right, uh, looks like everything's bad over here except for fish, so that's gonna be a negative. Ooh, everything's down here too, jeez Louise. All right, well, I guess we'll just go check over at the other place. Seems like I've had better luck over there anyways. All right, so this place is buying uh, the dagger, so we can sell the dagger here, that'll be good. But we can't sell the gold bars yet. The gold bars still aren't worth enough. So that guy's worth 159? Sure, why not? You know, that's that's something. That's, that's not great, but it's something. Oh yeah, this place has gold bars. Uh, They are higher priced. Yes, okay, so we should be able to sell some of these guys for some 157. You know, it might just be worth it to wait until we hit. Yeah, you know what? I think it's I think we're going to wait until we get some gems because these by themselves just they're just not worth enough. So, you know what? We have this whole little system right here. I'm actually quite curious. Can I place this right there and just put this underneath of this thing? Like so it just constantly gets water so I don't have to do the water bucket every single time? Maybe. So now if I do that, brush it, is it going to fill up with water again? Maybe? Probably not. I probably have to move it into closer. Oh, it does. It does fill up. Oh, so I don't have to get the bucket of water every time. That's kind of nice. Yeah, <laughs> I like this thing. This thing makes things nice. Look at that. I can just boom, brush, grab the stuff. It auto fills. This is great. This little bit's nice. I'm going to tell you right now, the RNG gods are not on my side. <laughs> I've just tried to get a gem. Just one single tidy gem would work. That's all I need. I just, I can't get one. <laughs> just golden eye, or like, yeah, see, look at that. RNG, they're mad at me. I have upset the RNG gods. They will forever not give me anything good anymore. Just trying to get some stuff. Just trying to make some money here. And they don't want to give me any gems. Oh, I got, <laughs> I got excited. Cause I was like, oh my God, something. And then I'm like, oh wait, this is, uh, this is one of those power shard deals that isn't actually worth money darn it oh i thought we had one i was like oh we got like an emerald or something i was so excited but then i looked and it wasn't and then i wasn't excited and the rng gods still hate me <gasps> yes 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 oh we got a sapphire okay all right all righty i will happily take that guy grind it up oh 
My gosh, it is about time. So we're going to swap this over to a necklace. And I'm going to tell you right now, this thing is going to be worth uh, quite a bit. Because this right here is a whole lot of gold in there. There is so much gold in that thing. And we're going to use one of these other big bars. Oh, I don't remember which one's what. Oh, that one looks heated almost, doesn't it? I wonder which one's worth more. Hmm. I don't know. We'll just use this one. All right. So we're going to turn one. We're going to make one necklace. If I could get out of my trench that I dug. <laughs> that guy, this thing was a bad idea. It makes it hard for me to get back and forth to my base place. Uh, all right. We'll set that down. How are you doing? Still liquefying. All right. There we go. One big gold bar. We're going to have to heat you up. We're going to have to heat you up. Uh, no, we can go ahead and leave that in there. And let's get these out of the way. Where is my blacksmithing hammer? It's right there at the ready. All right. Let's do it. Get that guy on there. Get that guy on there. Make ourselves the biggest, beautifulest necklace of all time. Holy moly. All right, let's go see if this is worth anything today. And if not, we'll sleep um, and, you know, hopefully better values tomorrow. So every time you sleep in the bed, it actually changes the stonk market, <laughs> the stonk market. <laughs> so if you don't have good trades, you can always sleep again and then wait for uh, wait for the next day to see if they're they're better or I mean, I guess worse. But we are selling a necklace. I need you to be high money. Necklaces are not high money right now. Necklace stocks down again. Darn. You know what? Let's just get a price to see what this guy's worth at the jewelers. What do you guys think of the jewelers? How much do you guys think? 1636. That's it. No, thank you. Oh, that's terrible. All right. So now how much do you guys think this guy's worth now? Put your comment in the below. How much do you think this necklace is worth? Put it in before we cheat. Don't know. Don't cheaters. No cheaters. Closest price. Without going over wins. What do we got? $4,913. I will take that any day. Look at that. Boom. Another 5k. Yes. <laughs> we now should have enough money to buy our new parcel of land. It's going to be marvelous. Oh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, oh, that works out perfectly actually. All right. We're going to go buy our new land. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good land. It's going to be our land. And I think the nicest thing about this is that it's literally right next to this town. So when we buy all the stuff for all the automational things, guess what? We're not going to have to go very far. Perfect. All right. So let's grab our stacks of cash. Now we can actually get them to combine since they're going to be in this thing. All right. So we have $7,499. We could go ahead. We can purchase this parcel for 66 it's ours. I have $899. <laughs> yes, this is ours. This is ours. Oh my gosh. There's going to be so much good stuff. So many good things here. I cannot wait to start building on this. Oh my gosh. I'm super excited. So uh, that's going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. But we just bought, I think this is the biggest place on the map. I don't know, but it looks great. Super flat, super huge. Uh, we have water like right there. It's not super far away. So we can put our water buildings over there. We can put like our house building like over here or just park equipment. Oh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be amazing. But uh, yes, thank you guys so much for the support. Again, if you guys want to check out the game, this game does come out on May 8th. I have a link down below. You can add it to your Steam wish list if you so choose. But uh, yes, thank you guys so much for coming out. Have a wonderful day. Like, subscribe, all the fun things, and I'll see you in the next one.